So I want to solve um, being able to shoot for a lot longer periods of time without having my shoulders hurt. So I went with this setup. I have two that I've been comparing for a little while now as I've been shooting, uh, doing long shoots and kind of getting some thoughts back on what I like and dislike about each. So this is small rig setup for the RS3. As you can see, I have the two handles on these bars and then I have the back luggage handle as well. This is all the small rig setup. So what I love about this is the versatility because you get the back handle and the sides all at once. So you don't have to change anything out once you get mounted. I'd say a big issue with this setup is that these two hit each other. So the only way to get this on and have it work properly is you have to unscrew the Allen screw on this lever to be able to tighten this down and then screw this back in. So it just doesn't work as fluid as I'd like if you wanna have this handle set up. If you don't want the luggage handle set up, it's super easy, they just screw right in. So the other setup I've been using on this is DJI's own uh, side handles um, kind of combo unit. So as you can see also with this, you have to unscrew three different things, which isn't the biggest issue unless you do a lot of travel shooting like we do, and then it takes a lot more time to assemble, disassemble your kit because you have to get it in and out of your backpack all the time. So this is the DJI version, which I'll show you how this works, but basically there are two pieces that go on just like this. And as you notice, there's no back luggage handle currently, right? That's because we're using them as side handles. So you don't really need the luggage handle and the side handles all out at the same time, most of the time, unless you need grab sling quickly. But the nice thing about the DJI one is that all you have to do is swivel this lever, pop it back, and now you have the luggage handle all in one, and you don't have to have that third setup that you have to worry about taking on and off, adjusting knobs, unscrewing things, and if you need to go back and forth, it's super quick. It takes about five seconds as fast as you can unscrew it and screw it down. And I really like this setup. So this is what I've decided to go with after trying both, um, especially with travel and trying to pack everything in camera bag. This is the setup that I think is the most useful on a variety of shoots. So if you're looking for one, they're both great options, but my preference is the DJI one.